everyone. Welcome to Shay's Tube. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shay's Tube. And I'm back again this weekend to give you guys a brand new haul. Happy October. I hope you had a great September. And um, I hope you had fun playing that contest that I had a couple weeks ago. And I hope that the people who won the gifts, I hope they, you know, are enjoying it. Okay? Oh, let me see. Let me see. The, the stores that I um, went to are Dollar Tree, Big Lots. Well, I got one thing from Big Lots. And I went to the 99 cent store and I went to the beauty supply store and got just a few things that I want to show you guys. Okay. So let me go ahead and start off with my haul because I'm trying to hurry up with this haul today and keep it under 25 minutes. So let me go ahead and start off. And I'm going to start off with Dollar Tree. Okay. First thing that I got are some of these, of course, deep cleaning pad refills. I'm close, like I'm close to the camera. Okay, I got those right there. Okay, you know these things right here work pretty good. You know, if you have a Swifter. Excuse my um, couple of my fingernails. I need to do them, redo them again. So I'm gonna try to keep them out of the camera. I know I just messed up a few seconds ago and showed you my thumb. So I'm gonna try to keep them off the camera. And then I got these gloves right here. These latex. Well, no, these do have latex in it, but anyway, they're, they're um, reusable gloves in a size medium. Try not to do the glare, okay? And those are pretty good. And I got one of these self-storage bags to put my clothing in. I'm trying to get that glare out of there. So, let's see. There you go. Maybe if I show it over here, it'll be better. So, yeah. And this is what it looks like on the back. Okay. It says that this whole suit, including jacket, shirt, vest, and pants, is supposed to be a high quality protective cover and it guards against dust, moth, and mildew. So again, I'm you know, just thought this would be a good thing to put in my suitcase and in my closet right now. But especially when I leave and go out of the country and I have this for my clothing, for my blouses and stuff like that, that I don't want to get messed up. I bought some more of those lasagna pans, the rectangular ones. Man, wait a minute. <laughs> I think I got my camera too close. I'm going to have to move it back. So I got that. Mm -hmm. And those are pretty good, like I told you guys before. Let me move this camera back just a tad. I think I got it up too close. Okay, there you go. Sorry about that. Oh. Let me see it. If I do it like that, how would that be? Okay. I think that would be okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> Don't want to show that yet. Then I got some more of this bathroom um, toilet tissue. And this is by Home Store. And this is pretty soft, guys. So you may want to try this out if you just need extra tissue or you just don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on tissue. I always get it for bag up. Okay. So, yeah. But it works. I mean, not works, but it's pretty good. It's... it's Soft, not real, real soft, but it's soft enough, okay? And it lasts a long time, too, okay? I'm still shocked by that toilet tissue because I just knew it was going to be extra hard. Then you know I had to buy some more of this right here. You know what it is already. It's the Scotty's Kleenex that I always buy. Yeah, I love the, um, the boxes. And this is the... Actually, this one right here has 162 five facial tissues in it. So that's pretty good. Then I got another one, but the other one only has 120. I didn't, I think I bought them at two different Dollar Trees, so that's why it's probably like that. But still, I like the box and the tissue is pretty soft and it works pretty good, so I like it. Okay. Let's see. Then I got a pack of paper towels which I normally don't buy these at Dollar Tree, but I had to take something back, and I decided to get some paper towels by the home store again. I think I got like three rolls of these. And I think they work pretty good, because I think we already used some of them. And I think they, they do the job, not too cheap. Okay, so yeah, that's that. I'm trying not to show these nails on my other hand, so. 
Then I got some, oh, of course I got the um, mouthwash, like I always do the antiseptic mouthwash. And I got the mint kind for my kids. Got that one, okay. By sure, these are the best ones to use. Sometimes I use the Lander one, and then sometimes I use the Colgate one, but I really like these the best. I, I really don't care for this blue one that much because you have to use this before you brush your teeth because that blue um, coloring. So we usually use this before you brush your teeth, then brush your teeth, and then rinse your mouth out with some warm water. And I still rinse my mouth out with warm water afterwards with this one too. Okay, because you never know. <laughs> About all these different mouthwashes and stuff that they be... Um, having, you know, selling and stuff. And that's in any store. And then I got some of this um, right white rain moisturizing body wash in the um, lavender scent and in the coconut one, okay? And this is for my kids right here. But I, I only use this one right here when I buy this type. I'm trying to put this hair back in this camera. I got my hair taken uh, loose, so yeah. I don't want to show it. Let's see what else. Okay, and then I got one of these Luminescence candles here for fall time. This is the pumpkin scent, and this smells so good. Yeah, it smells real good. I can't wait to use it. it smells just like pumpkin pie. Mm. And if it smells, when you light it, when I light it, if it smells the same, then I'm probably going to, you know, get another one. So yeah, if you see these, you may want to pick it up. But I'll really tell you about these once I use it, okay? Then I got um, one of these little things here, portable light. I don't know how good this works yet, but I can't wait to try it out. I did open the box to look at it and I figured it out. And um, it's bad, I didn't know at the time it was battery operated, but you know, I thought maybe, I don't know what I thought, but anyway, you have to put a thing, AAA batteries in here. And stuff and then you can just I guess you can pull the switch to turn it on and off but hopefully it works pretty good if it does I may get a few more if it doesn't it's going back to the store and I'll let you guys know about this as well I don't even know why I bought it actually because I'm trying to figure out where would I put it put it maybe in the kids closet because all the other closet has lights so yeah that's that right there I think I seen other people haul and just thought it was cute and I would give it a try okay then I bought my son some more um, learning things for school. I got him some reading prompts. And these are pretty good for kids. This is um, the second grade level, but, you know, second, third grade, basically, you know, it's almost similar. So, you know, the words and stuff. And um, I actually give him books up higher grade sometimes, like fourth grade, too, just so he can really you know, be well rounded when it comes to um, reading. But anyway, yeah, these are pretty good because you like to have a little story on there and then they have like two or three or four questions and you just answer them. And so these are pretty good for him. I think there are 16 of these prompts in here. I'm trying not to do a reflection, okay? Then I got him um, an educational spinner for the solar system and I can't wait to use this because this has all the different planets on here and give you a little um, brief information about each one. And so I think this will be good when we get ready to do our project about the solar system next week probably or, the either, or either the weekend, I mean the week after that. So yeah, this is really neat for science. Try not to do a reflection. Goodness. I'm going to have to do something about that light. And then I have the butterfly one for the um, the life cycle of the butterfly. I hope I hope I can find like a water cycle one and things like that, then I'll get it. Let's see. Yeah, so that's really cute. So when we go over that again, he can see it. And I don't have to worry about printing out anything and I can use those. The Dollar Tree is good for school stuff like that in those little workbooks. So you won't have to do all that printing. And then I got some of these googly eyes for his science. So yeah, this is really neat because he likes putting these on you know, pictures and stuff like that. Then I got me some more gum. There was four in here, of course, I already used two. Okay, I think that's it for that bag. Let's see. There you go, drop my thing. Then I got another pumpkin, because I told you guys I was gonna just flood my place with a bunch of pumpkins, and so I'm just getting these and just placing them all throughout my apartment. 
And if I do a fall show of the stuff, how I decorate it, I'll, you guys will see it. But yeah, this is really cute. Yeah, and, you know, it's like a ceramic. So yeah, that's a good bar. It don't look cheap, so yeah. And over there. And I got some more of this foliage. And I got a different color. I also got the traditional color too, but I got this one because I just like this color. And when I show you guys where I put it at, you're going to laugh. <laughs> but anyway, it looks cute where I got it at. But you're probably still going to laugh. But yeah, but this is cute. So I got this one, okay? I can't wait to put it out. Then I got my daughter some Advil because it works, you know, pretty good. And I got some... And that... Oh, and I got some um, triple antibiotic original ointment by Natureplex. This is a good brand to use. It's the 0.33 ounce, 9.4 grams. It's, the expiration date is July 2018, so that's pretty good. So, yeah, this is a good brand to use. I used it before. It's another brand that's pretty good, too, but I didn't see it, so I got that one instead. Oh, let's see what else I got from DT. DT is in the place to be. Then I got some chips that I saw everybody else hauling. It's made in um, America, so I got it. And hopefully they are good because if they aren't, I'm not ever buying them again. It only has 140 milligrams of salt, and these are the kettle chips, so I'm going to taste a few of them and see. And hopefully they are good because if they are, I'll get some more. If not, That'll be it. But I'll let you guys know about these two. Okay? It's by Home Style Select. Let me show them again so you can get a good review. Just in case you want to go out and buy some. Okay? And I got some fingernail polish. Some dark chocolate, man. That dark chocolate is good for you. Isn't it? <laughs> I love dark chocolate. Oh, man, I can't even open this. Wait, I got it so tight. Let me show you guys what it looked like. There's nothing like that dark chocolate, isn't it? That chocolate, chocolate. Look at it. It's beautiful. I can't wait to use it because I know it's going to look good on my nails. I can't wait. I may use it when I take this stuff off in another week or so. But, yeah, that is beautiful. Chocolate. I need some lipstick this color. I need it. Look at me something like this. If I can find some since I have to wear the natural lipstick. And this is by OPI. She claimed a lot of people... Um, the lady in the store claimed a lot of people have been buying this, so I saw it, liked the color, and it was by OPI, and I was like, okay, for a dollar, I might as well. So I got me one, okay? Just one, though. Can't wait to use that. I may use that when I go out of the country. I don't know. Depends on how I look. Get me some lipstick to match it. Go for that dark brown look. <laughs> I used to wear brown lipstick. It looks pretty cute on this. I may, I may get some. I may find some. Hopefully I can in natural. And then I got these little cute things right here to put on my table with my little small pumpkins on my placemats. And well, like I said, if I do a haul, not a haul, if I do a, a show of how, how I decorate it, I'll show you guys what I did with them, okay? When I finish. But yeah, I just got four of them, the same ones. That's it. And these are really cute. That's four. And the other one is already on my table. Mm -hmm. So I got those. Here, yeah, let's see. Okay, I think this is the last DT bag. I believe so. And guys, I got these cute socks for my daughters. I wish I could have found some more because they are for breast awareness and they donate, I guess, a portion or not all of the money that they get from these two breast awareness programs. So yeah, these are really cute. I can't wait for them to, to wear these. And if I see any more, I'm going to get some more because these are really cute. I like the pink. Okay. And they're 90 some, 90, what is it, 97% polyester and 3% spandex. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, these are pretty good. And I got some of the pens, the ballpoint pens, which I'm going to give out. Well, no, which, when I do these videos, I do them way be, before the time. You know, like they do TV shows. I do it way ahead. Well, behind, and then I show it. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Just like they do TV shows and stuff. So I did put one, one of these in each one of my giveaways, okay? That's what I was trying to say. Yep. And these are really cute. And again, 
I guess some of the um, money or whatever that they make, a, a portion, yeah, a portion would be donated to the breast cancer awareness program. So that's pretty good. So that's another reason why I bought these. And plus pink is an, another one of my favorite colors, okay? So yeah, these are cute. And I hope they write pretty good. I really can't wait to use them. Every year when they put this out, whenever I usually buy stuff, you know, just for that purpose only. Because, you know, breast awareness, you never know. But anyway, I think that's it from DT. Let me make sure. I think I covered everything. Oh, well, one more thing from DT, and that's it. And it's this little cutie right here that go on my patio. The scarecrow with the wind thing on it. Yeah, I don't think we get heavy winds out here like that, but if we do, it may blow. But anyway, it's, it's cute, okay? So, yeah, I got this. And you never know because I'm up on the third floor, so it may, you know, blow from the mountains. So, yeah, it may. It may. It may. Yeah, that's really cute. That's the great scarecrow. Okay. Y'all, I just go overboard, don't I? But anyway, that's it for Dollar Tree. Let me go ahead and move on to the 99 cent store because I forgot this video can't be too long. My daughter won't edit it. If it is, she'll start cutting stuff off. So let me hurry up. I forgot all about that. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. Now we're going to go ahead and go on to this little 99 cent store. And the first thing I want to show you guys is these baby wipes by Huggies. 32 in the pack. I said that there was 40, but obviously I can't say because it's right here. Okay, 32. Huggies. And these are my favorite brand of baby wipes to use. And I was glad when I saw these in the dollar. You know what? Yeah. Wait a minute. Did I? Yeah. You know what? They sell them at Dollar Tree, too. And actually, I did get these at Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. This did not come from 99 cent store, okay? I got it from Dollar Tree, okay? So let me put that with the Dollar Tree stuff. Now, this is what I got from the 99 cent store. I got another, some more of these um, earbuds. And like I told you before, these work pretty good for kids. And for some adults who don't really care about the quality of the sound, as long as they can hear music. So, yeah, I got three packs of these. Well, I did have three packs. They must have used one of them, but I got three packs of these. Okay. And um, I got some of this argan, organ, argan oil for my hair, and for my daughter's hair. We like these different oils. The herbal oil is the best one because it definitely grew my hair a hell of a lot after I took those braids out three years ago and stuff. One day I'll put the picture and let you guys see all that hair. But anyway, yeah, it grew my, that herbal oil that you buy from Walmart, African something, that stuff works, um, it, it works a miracle, okay? Plus it left my hair so soft and it still is soft till to the, you know, to this day. I still use it now and um, it didn't, you know how sometimes you take braids out and some people hair stink? It didn't stink. It was real soft. It wasn't brittle. It was healthy. That herbal oil is good by African, African something. I'll let you guys know. I showed you guys before in one of my videos. Okay, I may have my daughter go grab it in a minute. And then another good oil to use is that tea tree oil, okay, that I showed you guys. That oil right there is great for stopping itching and stopping flaking if you have like dandruff dandruff in your hair or anything like that, cerebral dermatitis or anything like that, it's good for all that. And it smells absolutely wonderful. And you can also use that oil all over your body as well um, as that herbal oil you can too. This oil right here, I have never used it before, but I smelled it in the store. It didn't really have a real, let me see, before I start lying. No, actually it does have a, fragr a fragrance and it smells pretty good. And I'm thinking, I, I think, Argon oil is pretty good for your hair too. I know, I pretty much know it is, especially African Americans here, since our hair tend to be dry and stuff. So yeah, this is a good oil. So I bought two. They had it at the 99 cent store, so I got two of these. Okay, usually I usually buy the natural oils that don't really have anything in it, but the oils. But I just said, you know, let me just go ahead and try this out. It shouldn't hurt too much because it has other things in it. As long as I don't use it, just make a habit of using this type right here but just to try it out to see if I like it and then if I like the argon oil and it does pretty good maybe I'll go buy it from the other store that I usually get my oils from but the tea tree oil and that African oil um, that I showed you guys before that oil especially that, herb, that herbal African oil that oil grows your hair okay it really does and it makes it soft and fluffy and just beautiful man I use it all the time I'm telling you I use it all the time and I'll never stop using it. I don't use it every day. And it's not all oily either. But, I, but of course, if you're using it every day, just putting it in your hair like you're crazy or something, just going crazy with it, your hair is going to be oily. But if you use it like once a week or once every couple of days or something like that, it won't be oily. Okay? So try it out. I'll show you guys in a minute what it looks like, though. 
And then I got this little cute guy right here, this little owl. Yeah, I just thought he was cute to put on my um, fireplace. I'm actually not going to buy anything else like this because I keep on buying all this mess and don't have nowhere to put it. But anyway, I do have a place to put this because I tested it out because at first I was ready to take it back. But it looks really cute up there. So, yeah, I like that. <laughs> and then I got one of these earwick candles for $1.99. I didn't know it was $1.99. I thought it was $99. But anyway, it's worth it because it really smells good. It's the Summer Sweet Pea scent. And it smells so good, I can't wait to light it, okay? And, if it smell, and, I'll, and I'll tell you guys how it is, just in case you see it at your 99 cent store, and then you can go ahead and get it, okay? Sorry about talking fast. I'm trying to hurry up. Then I got this Panarosa Antibacterial Hand Soap, and you know I love the color of it. Another one of my favorite colors, Peach. Um, it almost looks like this color, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it'll go great in my bathroom, because the thing I got in my bathroom right now, the soap dispenser thing I have. I'm so tired of putting more soap in it and stuff. So I, I was like, you know what? Let me just buy one of these right here right now and just change it up and put it in my bathroom. So I got this right here. And it actually has an expiration date on it for 2019. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And I think I used this once before. So the consistency of the um, soap is pretty good too. It's not all thin and watery. So yeah, this is a good thing. And I probably re refill this and use this container over again because it's so cute. Okay. Then I got some more um, Ajax because I love this type of, I love this type of detergent, you know. I also use that palm olive too, but I really love this one right here because it really does the job on your dishes. Ajax, you may want to try it out. <laughs> this is in the bleach um, alternative grapefruit scent, okay. Then I got some more of this disinfectant um, spray by Chase's. It's in the linen scent, and this one looks pretty good, 99% effective with killing uh, most germs. Okay, so I've used this. I mean, I try not to stay in the bath, and when I spray this stuff, you'll be like, hmm, messed up, inhaling this mess. But yeah, but anyway, it works just like Lysol. Hmm. Oh, man. And I got me some emergency candles, just in case you never know when you may need these. So this is like the second pack I got. Um... So there are 10 in here, and I'm going to get some more, too, because you never know. I mean, I have those other things, too, those flare lights, but just in case, I just want to be really backed up. You know what I'm saying? I want to have it all. There you go. And for a dollar, you can't beat that. You get 10, just in case some don't like. That's why I'm going to buy some more. And then I got some of this um, paper towels that I normally buy, that sometimes I buy, and I think I bought, like, two of these. You know I like this one right here. They come in the little bitty... Um, Stop things like this, sheets, so they last longer, okay? My ring always coming off. This is not even the size for this little finger. Okay, let me hurry up with these bags. Then I got myself one of these um, flannel back table covers. And you know what? I actually like this better than the ones they sell at Dollar Tree because this right here is not that little plastic mess they be selling that blows off your table as soon as the wind blow. This right here is actually a better quality. I like the de design on it and it's pretty big. And I just, okay, my phone had run guys and I had to get it. So sorry about that. But I was telling you about the flannel, what's this, a flannel back table cover for my table out there on my patio. And I was telling Sam that this is a good, um, buy right here. It seemed like the quality is better than the ones they sell at the um, Dollar Tree because those are basically vinyl or plastic or something like that and they just, as soon as the wind blows, they just fly right off. So this one right here seems like it's more held together and it's, you know, different material on the um, back side and I think it'll stay on my table better. Plus I can cut it because my table is small and I can use the rest later on, you know, maybe next year or something. So yeah, that's a good buy. It was just 99 cents at the 99 cent store. Then I got a couple of these books here. Let me hurry up. You know, I was so intrigued by this book right here because I never really paid attention to books with cartoons on the inside of them like this. Just made like this, like this. And I just, you know, it just caught my interest because, you know, you can see the pictures and they like cartoons. I just thought it would be fun to read for me and my girls and my kids, period. So I got this. The name of it is... Blood Grind by Kim Harrison. It's about some vampires, huh? I didn't even know it at first until I looked at the back of it. 
Yeah, so it may be pretty good. And I just, you know, caught my eye because, like I said, the cartoon um, pictures inside. That's what really caught my eye. Okay? So, yeah, this was 99 cents. So, I got this. Yeah. Then I got another book. And this one is called Speaking from Among the Bones. It's about, like, 11-year-old. He's like a... Um, an amateur detective, and I guess he's looking for clues for something, a murder or something or something like that. But anyway, just it just caught my eye, just the picture of it. And then the title, you know, caught my eye. And um, I decided to get it. And they're selling this book for $1.99, and it's by Alan Bradley. So if you see this one along with the blood grime, you may want to check it out. Hopefully I'll read these for real because I always buy books. And never read them, but hopefully I'll read these for real so I can tell you guys. Maybe do a book review or something one day when I read enough books and stuff. But anyway, it seems like it's going to be good, so I can't wait to read this sometime in the future. Okay, and that one was $1.99. And let's see, I think I covered everything just about in the $0.99 cent store. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that I got some more of these Graham Crockers. I got some more of these True Blues. These are pretty good. I told you guys before, these crackers right here taste like the regular ones in the grocery stores. So, yeah. And I like the fact that they come in little square sizes because it makes, you know, doing s'mores easier. Okay? So, yeah. I love these. I, I mean, I eat these without s'mores. Okay? Because they're so good. And it's two packs that come in there. And then I got some more of these Hershey milk chocolates for my s'mores. Five in the pack. Okay? Nothing more to say about that. And I think that's it from the 99 cent store. Let's just make sure, because, you know, when that phone rung, it kind of threw me off. But I think that's it. I think I covered everything that I got from the 99 cent store. Let me just show you this one product I got from Big Lots for my son for Christmas, because they still had those toys on sale. So I picked up him another WWE action figure, or whatever you call these things, wrestling figures. And this was, the other ones that I got, I paid $2 a piece. But this one right here, I paid $4 for this one. So they got a good toy sale, so... If you got a big loss in your area and you, you know, just into doing your Christmas shopping for your kids early, it would be a good time to check them out and get some stuff. Because, you, I mean, this is normally $10, $15. So if you can pay $2 or $4 for this, why not go ahead and get it? So, so far, I already got three of them. But I paid $2 for the other two a piece. So let's just add to this Christmas list. And then I had a calendar that you put in your purse, a little small, cute calendar from Big Lots. But I took it back because I was like, you know, I'm never going to use that calendar because I got calendars on my phone and stuff. But I may go back and get it because sometimes it's good to have small calendars that you actually write everything on versus going to your phone all the time. And so I may go back and get that calendar because it was only $3. But as far as, oh, yeah, I did want to show you guys my stuff that I got from the um, beauty um, supply store that I went to. Let me show you that real quick. I got my daughter's. Some of these look cute ponytail holders. There are five that comes here. No, no. Yeah, it is five because they already have one in their hair. But, yeah, these are really cute. I just thought this is really cute with the little stars and stuff on them and everything. It just, it, it just dresses up a ponytail. So I got this. And these were $1.50, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, they were $1.50. Okay, so those are really cute. And I got me a pack of rollers, some real rollers by Annie, because the ones at Dollar Tree and 99 cent store like this don't stay closed. So I got one pack of these, okay, because I can actually sleep in these foam rollers. So maybe my hair will look like it's supposed to look sometime. And then I got two eyebrow liners or, yeah, eyeliner pencils, even though I use these for filling in my eyebrows in between get, getting them waxed. I didn't even realize these were made in Los Angeles. And I also use these as lip liners. And I got the, this is the dark brown color. And it's a really cute color. I like it. So that's why I got that. It's by Navi. And it comes on so smooth and everything. That's why I like it. And that's the pencil. It lasts a long time, too, if you can see it. Let's see. And it had different colors there. But I like the dark brown because when you put this on your eye eyebrows and your eyebrows are black it don't look like you feel the man or anything it, especially when you're in between getting them waxed they don't look like you you know feel the man or anything like some people eyebrows look like they draw them on or whatever you know, that brown when you get 
when you get it in a brown color, if your eyebrows are black, it's just, just look more natural. I'm gonna put it like that. So yeah, those were the three items I got there. I really like these though. These are so cute. I'm probably gonna go back and get some more of these. Because I braid their hair up and I'm getting ready to rebraid their hair up again probably um, in a couple of days and I can put these on there and stuff. You know, I think for their ponytails, if they make a ponytail or whatever the case is, and it'll look really cute. But I think that's it regarding my haul. But let me tell you about two things I bought real quick. Um, I'm trying to think what they were. I forgot what they were because, I, you know, I did this video once before, but I was talking about stuff that had already happened and I realized what I did and I had to cancel the whole video and it was a little bit too long. This one is on the verge of being too long too, but I don't know why it's so long. You know, I didn't really have that much stuff. But anyway, um, I'm trying to think, what was it? Oh man, I can't even remember what the review was on. I'm trying to think, what was it? Oh, the bacon. For one thing, I wanted to tell you about the turkey bacon. I had to stop buying that because every time I was going, every time I went to um, Dollar Tree, it's like they would have almost old turkey bacon out by Jeannie. And um, I just didn't like that. You know, the fact that they was having it, the turkey bacon out and selling bacon that was so close to the expiration date. And then it's hard to find fresh ones, okay? So I just said, forget it. Let me just go back to my regular grocery store, which it was on sale at Stated Bros, and I got it there. But, the, the, but as far as the taste comes, the taste to me was basically the same. Now my daughters them said that the bacon from Dollar Tree, that Jenny O turkey bacon was saltier than the ones you buy at the regular grocery store. It could be, I don't know for sure, it just tastes the same to me, um, but they say it didn't. So I'm not gonna necessarily say this is a thumbs down, I'm just gonna say try it out for yourself if you can get some fresh one and see if you like it, you know, cause I don't, like I said, it tastes the same to me. It's just that the um, turkey bacon come in a smaller packing, you know, a smaller amount is in that Dollar Tree um, kind. But the Genio they sell in the grocery store is a larger packing. So that's the only thing that I saw about it. And then plus the Dollar Trees don't always have it fresh like it should be. And I'm not into buying food that's expired or expires in two or three days. So I was like, forget that. But otherwise, the taste for me is okay, okay? And let's see, something else, I can't remember what it was. Something else. Man, I cannot remember it. That's why I'm gonna have to start writing stuff down so I won't forget what I was trying to do the review, what I need to do the review on that I was wanting to tell you guys. But if I think about it, doing my, um, that's my ring, flew right across the table. It's just too big for my little picky. I just had it on it anyway. But if I um, remember what, the review that I was going to tell you guys about what it was on. I'll let you know, guys know on my next video, okay? But anyway, let me just tell you, if you like this video, you can thumbs up this video, okay? You can also leave a comment below. You can sub if you're not sub. If you like, you can sub. And thanks to all my new subscribers, and thank you to all my old ones as well. I'm so glad I made it to 100 because the next time, then when I get to 100 again, I'm going to do another giveaway, okay? Another giveaway when I reach my next 100 subs, okay? And I think that's it, guys. And you can follow me on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Plus. All that information is in my bio. And also, our book, The Baby Mama Chronicles, is still available on createspace.com and amazon.com for $10. Check that out. Or you can go to the Facebook page. Um, and I think that's about it, guys. I think that's about it. And I guess I'll see you guys in two weeks. Have a great remaining week. Not a remaining week, but have a great weekend and a, and a great um upcoming week okay and i'll see you in two weeks guys and thank you for watching she's two and i'm out bye guys